Okay, well, we lost our assistant, so let's go ahead and open up the package. City. Um, so imagine, create, for the people, personalizer. Oh, we got another assistant. Okay, so the first thing we see here <clears throat> is that we've got. Some nice packing material in there. Looks like it's packed nice and solid. You agree, Louie? Let's see, oops. Hi, Louie there. Let's see if we can take one of these foam blocks out. Yep, nice thick foam. So we got four of them. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Let's take a peek. Ooh, solid doodle. Okay, let's take a bag in here. Whoops. bunch of parts and stuff. Let's set this over to the side. And I think we're going to want to step back and bring this out of the box. is empty. Toothbrush. What looks like a Allen key hex wrench and a pair, nice big pair of uh, tweezers, metal tweezers. Uh, looks like I've got a screw that popped out already here. Probably reels out of the transit. Power cable. I believe these are the brackets for uh, holding the spool. Along with the little piece of PVC that goes in there. 
a little display. Nice. We have a USB cable, <clears throat> A mail to B mail. Uh, pretty standard for a printer. Uh, a little bit of uh, red ABS plastic here. And some of the Captain tape I ordered. And let's see, we're missing the black cherry, or midnight black cherry, cotton candy, and blue spools. I did have a second uh, um, uh, UPS tracking number, but that tracking number said it had just been printed and has not been received and all that yet. Okay. And some instructions. Congratulations on your purchase of a solid doodle, solid doodle 3D printer. You did it. Please visit our website to get started. Join on the website is solid dub 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 not soliddoodle.com. Join our innovative communities. There's a Google group. Uh, there's a solid doodle wiki, Facebook page, Twitter account, blog, and a forum. And uh, yeah, I've been on the forum. It looks pretty cool. Uh, your experience is important to us. Remember, help is only an email away. If you're experiencing challenges that cannot be solved by following the online instructions, please email us at support at solidoodle.com. Have a printing. Sam Cervantes, founder and CEO. All right, Sam. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, uh, take a closer look at maybe some of this stuff that came in the box. And uh, let's do some unwrapping. And that just slides off really nicely. And the top piece does similarly. That opens up straight. There's some packing material in there. Gotta make sure I get these kitties away from it. Okay, we got some oil or something all over the packing material. I'll have to make sure we take a close look at, look at that. Yeah, it smells like grease. Definitely don't want the cats to get in it. And uh, yeah, that makes sense. It was running against uh, a threaded steel rod back there. Okay, now I'm going to be kind of careful with this one. I notice it's touching some rubber uh, um, track on the left side. I'm sure there's a more technical word for it. Uh, there's a second piece of bubble wrap. It's all rolled up nicely. And let's see. Looks cool. Oh, there's a box in here. And another screw that hanging out. Screw number two. Looks to be the same size as screw number one. Uh, almost looks like there might have been some Loctite or something on it. Or that might have been... Or it just might be still stripped. So, a bit of white on it. All right, let's open up the, the box here. I'm assuming this is going to be a power brick or something. Oh, yeah, it's a nice uh, big replacement AC adapter. Input is uh, 100 to 240 volt, 3 amp, 50 to 60 hertz. Output is 12 volt, 12.5 amps. That's all we've got here. So let's get the camera in here for a closer look. Okay, well here's all the stuff that came with the solo doodle. We've got the USB cord, the uh, clamp for the spool, a few tools I'm assuming for cleanup and minor tweaking. Uh, we got cat in the way. Move it cat. A uh, small bit of uh, test filament, toothbrush, power brick, power cord, and the welcome letter. Along with two screws that had 
at some point fell in, fallen out during shipping.